So I'm now at the point with my 350 build that I'm ready to hang the pistons on the connecting rods. So we're not using anything fancy for a piston here. This is just a cheap budget flat top piston. And we're gonna use the uh, OEM rods here. And this is a prep fit design. So these wrist pins are actually about a thou and a half larger than this pin bore. Now we don't actually set them up on a press and try to cram those in there. In most cases, you're probably gonna end up with an issue. One of the common ways to do it though, is with a sun in induction heater like this that has a pair of elements and their sole purpose is to heat the small end up so it expands and allows enough room for our wrist pin to slide in so my elements are red hot we're ready to begin so i'm going to grab one connecting rod i'm going to stick it in there just like so i'm going to start my clock here so at this point in time i got one minute to kill before i got any more work to do so I'll see you back in a minute. So we're coming up on our one minute and we're gonna grab another rod and we're gonna slide it onto the other element just like so. And then I'll see you in one more minute again. So we're coming up on our two minute mark here. I'm gonna grab one of my pistons. Gonna get it set up in the pin setting fixture here. And we're just gonna slide it in just like that and slip another rod in here. And then I'm gonna to wait to the three minute mark and I'm gonna slide the next connecting rod in and I'm just gonna keep that cycle going. So that proved to be a little difficult while holding the camera in my mouth. Uh, normally I got a little headband that I wear and it holds the camera, but uh, I forgot at home. So uh, we won't be trying that again because I almost flopped on that one. <laughs> so I'm coming up on my four minute mark here. All right, slide in the next one. Now, if I were to fumble a little too much is what would happen is that small bore would close up and my pin wouldn't sit where it's supposed to. I would then have to let it all cool off, go over to my press, press it out and clean everything and restart this process over on at least just that one connecting rod. So not the end of the world, but we try to avoid that. Here we go, our last one. All right. And time. So that took me nine minutes and well, basically 11 seconds. So that's basically it. Um, simple process. This is a really common way that an engine shop hangs their pistons, although uh, many do use a propane torch as well. Um, that's actually the style I learned on originally many, many years ago. Um, and I moved on to different shops since then. And we always use this induction style. So when it came to purchase my own tool, I actually like the induction style more. Either way, that's it. Hope that was neat for those that uh, have never seen that before. And well, I better get back to work because there's plenty of it. <laughs>